Hello everybody and welcome to this edition of Mondays with Adam, episode 14, going into famous 14, and if you notice it's not Monday, it's Wednesday. I waited until Wednesday because today is a special day. Today is Cheer Intensity's birthday. It is 6-12, meaning it is our birthday. On 6-12-2006, Cheer Intensity opened, and we have been going strong, going into our 14th season, but today we turn 13. I have a special edition of Mondays with Adam coming at you right now. Check it out. In honor of the 13th birthday at Cheer Intensity, we are going to go through the history of the gym, talking about some amazing events, some amazing things that happened, and some things that really shaped the gym over all these years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a timeline of many major historical events at Cheer Intensity, and then what we're going to do at the end is go through a picture slideshow of some amazing things that have happened over the years that I think a lot of people are going to want to see. Starting off, we're going to go right into the beginning years, what I call 2006 to 2009 as the beginning years. Um, in 2006 and 2007, that is when we started the gym. The gym was established in 2006. Actually, June 12th, 2006 was the day that the gym was born, as you know, because today is the gym's birthday. The way the gym got started was Jess was at Stephen F. Austin University, where she was on scholarship and had won a collegiate national championship. Well, after that first year of putting in the work and getting that national championship, she decided she wanted to come home and cheer at the University at Albany and just be home with family. So she came home. Cheryl at the time was coaching a recreational group of cheerleaders, and a bunch of the kids asked Cheryl, please, can you open the gym? Please open a gym for us, and please have you and Jess do something for us because we really would love to have our own gym. So Noreen Neely, famous quoting, um, she was a, Noreen was a former parent. Uh, Emily comes in the gym ever so often, and every time we go to Worlds and Summit, you're bound to see Noreen as she lives down in Orlando now. And uh, she was famous for quoting, if you build it, they will come. That wasn't taken from any movies or anything, Feel the Dreams. But yes, Noreen did quote that to inspire Cheryl to build and start the gym with Jessica. So they did. They started the gym. Again, June 12th, 2006 was the birth date. And it opened at Spenwood Gymnastics with about 20 kids. Just 20 kids to start our first season. On October 20th, 2006... We moved into our first gym at 8A Petra Lane in Colony, New York. I hope a lot of you remember that. It was an awesome little location, beautiful little gym, uh, one spring floor, and eventually one tumble track. But we started off with just a spring floor, and then later in that summer after 2006, 2007, got our tumble track. We finished the season of 2006, 2007 with five teams, naming them Senior Gold, Senior Black, Junior Gold, and Junior Black. And then we also had our minis team, which is kind of a mix between tinies and youth. It was just a whole bunch of kids pushed together to create that mini team as uh, there wasn't really a bottom age. So we just kind of put whoever we could on there because we were very small. We ended that season with around 40 kids, 40 to 50 kids, and it was a great start. And it was an amazing start for cheer intensity. The biggest thing that we got out of that season was our first core value of acceptance. It was all about how... We brought these kids together and, well, Cheryl and Jess, because I wasn't with the gym yet, uh, brought the kids together and just made the kids feel accepted, a place where they could go and get away from everything and feel like they were welcome at all times. And it was all around those first couple of kids that were really asking Cheryl to start the gym. And those kids needed that place to be accepted. So that is where our core value of acceptance really fell into place at Cheer Intensity. Continuing with our beginning years at Cheer Intensity, the second season, 2007-2008, is when I joined the gym as a coach and an athlete. I was on Senior Gold, and I coached Senior Black while also coaching our mini team. It was an amazing time. I learned so much from Cheryl and Jess, and they helped me develop my passion, and it really took me where I needed to be, and, and it helped me find the love of the sport that has kept me doing it for all these years. 
In that year also, Cheryl and I coached Senior Black to our first national championship for the gym. It was amazing. We were at the American Open down in Orlando, Florida, because back in the day we didn't have big end-of-the-season events. Worlds was only three years old starting in 2004, and we didn't have a Worlds team yet, and that was the only end-of-a-season event. So what we would do is we'd find a national championship around the country, usually in Florida where everybody liked to go, and we went down there and competed and won our first national championship. We also had a our junior black team, I think, break the record for most legalities in a season at Cheer Intensity. Over all of our years at Cheer Intensity, I think junior black has had more legalities than every year combined. <laughs> Back in the day, there used to be uh, multiple score sheets and multiple rules. So you would go from one weekend to the next and get different rules. It, it, it was crazy. So it was very easy to break rules. We would do uh, one weekend, you could do a straight ride toss and that would be legal. And the next weekend, they expect you to do toe touch tosses. And that one competition that was illegal and that the next competition it was legal. We would, it was always so confusing. So we got used to hearing our name, cheer intensity, please come to the judges stand. And uh, we broke a lot of rules that year, so <laughs> it was crazy. Um, this season in 2007-2008 really inspired us to um, start changing the years to come in the way how we leveled our team. So after 2008, uh, going into 2008-2009, we really wanted to make sure that we were leveling our teams correctly. We, were, we, we just had kids that were not level appropriate on teams, and we were realizing that was hurting us on the competition floor. And that we needed to create a atmosphere that um, kids that had these skills deserved to be on these certain teams. So we did that in 2008 and 2009. We the extreme team was born. Um, they called themselves the the giraffes, um, mainly because of uh, Shannon Smith, who used to be one of our coaches and one of the athletes on the team, who was very tall. Um, they were senior three. We were the year prior to that we had a senior four slash five in, in 2007, 2008. Well, in 2008, 2009, we went down to a senior three, t making sure that we had a team full of the same skill. Yes. in in 2007, 2008, we, we had a level four or five team, but it was so mixed with skill. There's only maybe four or five kids that were fully level appropriate. So what we what we did is we we created a team very much how we create the team today and on just having full skill. The team went on and did amazing things that season. They went to big high level competitions that we're used to going to now, and it really started to set the tone for the gym. In two thousand eight and two thousand nine, we went from no more colors. We just named the teams after divisions. So uh, besides extreme, we had senior open and juniors, and we just named the teams off of the division they were in. Um, we had an undefeated tiny team, uh, a, a team that Morgan Bick was on. We went undefeated. I coached that team. It was amazing. And uh, it was, they, they just were absolutely incredible. And we had a lot of fun with them. And they were the first undefeated team at Cheer Intensity for a season. And then we had juniors, our junior level two team, a team that started with nine kids with back hand springs that ended the season with full team. They went on and won multiple national championships, and the biggest thing that surrounded them was discipline wins. It was something that we always said. Uh, Jess and I coached them, so we were always trying to focus on teaching these kids how to be disciplined, and it's really what the team that helped us create that core value of discipline. Between juniors and ex the extreme team, we realized these kids need to be disciplined in what skills they get. So in 2008, 2009, it really helped us find our core, our second core value of discipline. And that junior and extreme team both went on to win the International All Levels Championship, a format similar to U.S. Finals where they have locations all over the United States. But it is what it actually turned eventually into the summit. It was the original event that spurred on the idea of having an end of the season event. And we went to Atlantic City. We won our division there in junior two and senior three, and then went into the online championship and won there as well, which was absolutely amazing. So we had a great year that year, starting with extreme and juniors, and it really uh, helped us find that second core value of, ex of uh, discipline, just like we found our acceptance core value in our first season. So that was our first three years, the beginning years of cheer intensity that really helped build that foundation of what the gym is today. 
Going into the next few years of cheer intensity, 2010 to 2013, I call it the rise of the kingdom. Um, in 2009, 2010, we changed the names of the teams because Extreme was giraffes. We changed the name of all of our teams to animals, and we started becoming the animal kingdom. We wanted to have a theme throughout our gym, and we felt that the animals were such a great way to uh, make the kids excited, and it, it made them feel proud to have and represent their animals. So we started off with our extreme team, which was now senior level four. They were still the giraffes, and they were the heads above the rest. They were the, uh, the, the extreme giraffes. They would go out with a big giraffe every time they uh, walked out on the floor, which was very cool. Then we had our senior three Okapis, which is related to the giraffe. So we thought that was pretty cool. And they went on and did some amazing things as well. We had our senior two tigers. As you know, we've had for many years and this past season became the Bengals. Uh, so senior two tigers. We had our junior two pandas. That was a one and done animal for that season. And our youth one iguana is another one and done. Um, we also had our tiny elephants which was pretty funny and the kids didn't really get. So they eventually became the tiny toucans, which was awesome. And we still have today. So that was just an amazing thing that we were able to add to the gym. And we still obviously have today and, and is always exciting to find out what animal you're going to be. In 2010, 2011, we had our first world's team, Cobra's International Coed level five. It was amazing. We had such a good time and it was probably one of my best cheer experiences in my life because I was on the team with Jess and we went out and got our first bid to Worlds, went down there and did amazing things. And the thing I remember most is getting off the world stage, looking across to one of my teammates and just saying, wow, that was a lot of fun. And now we're lucky enough to have done it every single year with uh, going to Worlds. So what a first amazing time that was. Youth 2 Gators won national championship in Baltimore, returned to Atlantis. The reason why this was such a big event was because they went on to do so many amazing things in the gym. These kids that were on this team were, were just kids that really uh, kicked it up a notch in the way of being competitive, and they went on to win many national championships, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the other cool thing is that they were Youth 2 Gators, which eventually became Crocs, and our Junior 2 Gators was formed in the years to come. In 2011 and 2012, One Family, One Kingdom is created. We created our, our slogan, our, our big hashtag that we like to use that we brought into the gym, and it was part of that rise of the kingdom. Giraffes became Extreme Lions, Senior Code 4. I remember having the conversation with Cheryl saying, Cheryl, I, these giraffes are fun, but we need something fierce. We need something to lead the kingdom. And the lions were born as senior co-ed level four. Jess and Adam got married in, on 6-9-2012, which was just a couple days ago. Uh, we just had our seventh anniversary. I remember the kids coming to the ceremony at the wedding. It was an amazing day, so much fun. And it was cool to have the bond that we have with the gym as Jess and I met at UAlbany, and that built into our relationship and having such a big bond with our gym and all the people in it. So uh, 2012, when we got married. 2012, 2013, Premier Piranhas were created as the Junior Extreme Team, Junior 4. Uh, we wanted to create a team that we had. We had uh, this extreme team where we were trying to level and have this this team leveled correctly. So we wanted to do it with a junior team, Premier Piranhas. And they were junior level four. And they had a lot of those kids that were on that Youth 2 Gators team that were so competitive that moved through the program up onto Premier Piranhas. We moved into our Green Island location halfway through uh, that year in 2012, September 2012. Um, we moved into the Green Island 13 Cannon Street, which almost all of you know because that was where we just moved out of. Um, it was did its job, and it gave us an extra spring floor and a lot of room to be able to really continue to grow the program. Extreme Lions became the first Senior Worlds team. We are Senior Co-Ed Level 5 in 2012-2013, and it was our first senior team that we brought to Worlds. It wasn't international or open anymore. It was a senior team. 
we had not, not only a senior team going to Worlds that year, we had our open team. We had Lady Boas. Open level six uh, went to Worlds, making the first time that we were able to take those two teams to world. Lady Boas was amazing level six team and was able to really hold their own in that open six division, competing in the top eight in the country in the country with that, competing against the world. So they were amazing and a lot of fun. If you get a chance to go check some of those old videos out, it's really fun to watch. Tigers Senior 4.2 in 2013 won our first Cheer Sport National Championship and received a paid bid to the summit. Tigers and Premier Piranhas compete at the inaugural summit. In 2013 was the first year that the summit was around, and we were lucky enough to send Tigers and Premier and Piranhas and been lucky enough to send a team ever since. So that Tigers 4.2 team was absolutely amazing winning that Cheer Sport Nationals. Um, it was just absolutely incredible a night, and I can remember it like it was yesterday. Um, people like Isabel Morris, Rebecca Cribs, Rebecca Rice now, um, Deirdre Buckley, Meg's sister, and so many other amazing athletes were on that team, and they were just incredible and such a great memory. Into the next couple of years, 2014 to 2017, I call competition dominance. We really, after growing what the beginning years did and creating our core values and creating the kingdom and all the animals and building these teams up with the extreme team and premier t piranhas team, we dropped the extreme name and we dropped the premier name and really just started focusing on making all of our teams in that way and created a, a program that just was so successful throughout um, and really led us uh, into competition and doing very well. So in 2013, 2014, Cobra's first top 10 performance, seventh at NCAA Nationals, which was absolutely incredible. Lady Lions advanced to semifinals from prelims at Worlds for the first time in the first year as Lady Lions, our small senior level five team, uh, went from competing one day at Worlds a year prior to being able to compete two days semifinals to pre prelims. Piranhas win our first Summit National Championship Junior Level 4 in 2014. Uh, a lot of those kids were on that Gators Youth Level 2 team back in 2011 and 2012. That was just a, another step for them in their careers to go on and win the National Championship of Junior 4. It was Justin Lumen's first Summit Championship. As we know, he has three getting his most recent one this past year, but so many amazing athletes that went on to do so many amazing things in our program were on that first uh, Piranhas team. Danny was born on 1-18-2014. If some of you didn't know, I was on Cobras that year. Danny was born on that Saturday at 1 a.m. So we were competing at a two-day national at Atlantic City at Spirit Chair. Uh, the 18th was a Saturday, day one of competition. I was coaching Lions, and I was on Cobras as well. Just went into labor on the 17th that Friday. Had Danny the morning of the 18th. And as after she was born, I was there for five hours. I drove to Atlantic City on orders from Jessica to go compete. It was insane. Um, very cool experience to come and see the whole program supporting and celebrating Danny's comp Danny's. Uh, birth at competition and what an amazing experience it was so uh it danny was born on 118 2014 in 2014 2015 we took piranha's large junior four this team had very low skill at the beginning of the year that had to be developed but we knew we put a bunch of workers on the team they went on to become such a powerhouse and strong team with so many new athletes. A lot of the kids on this team weren't on that Youth 2 Gators or on the Piranhas team from year the year earlier. This was a brand new team. Abby Gwynn, Maddie T, so many amazing athletes. Vita Spence were on this as their first time on a large junior four and at level four. They went on to win our first NCAA National Championship and finished third at Summit in a large junior four division that was absolutely incredible. And we were so proud of them for doing that and growing. And you can see the athletes they became today. Lady Lions went on to not only make it to the semifinals, but they won the prelim round. They were the highest score in the preliminary round at Worlds that year and were absolutely incredible. And then the big memory of 2015, 
Cheryl retired. We all know how that worked out. Cheryl retired from owning the gym and, you know, stepped down and I came in in her place with Jessica and it was an amazing night remembering her retirement and, you know, celebrating her. But at the same time, you know how long it lasted before she was back in the coaching shoes. So um, Cheryl retired in 2015. In 2015, 2016, we had our Vipers, small junior three, and our Panthers, large senior four, win cheer sport, which absolutely incredible. That was an amazing memory and a moment for having two teams win cheer sport in the same year was awesome. Lady Lions got their first paid bid to the cheerleading worlds going right in the semifinals, and they placed 13th, our highest ever at worlds, which was absolutely incredible. And then Piranhas went on to win their second Summit Championship in Junior Restricted 5. So we had a lot of athletes that were on that large Junior 4 team and that small Junior 4 team that won Summit the first time come together and do something absolutely incredible, winning a Junior Restricted co-ed level 5, just in second, and something that we were just so proud of and couldn't believe that we were able to build a Junior program that strong to win a level five summit championship. In 2016, 2017, it was our first year at US finals and we were lucky enough to have two teams win, Cheetahs and Pumas win uh, their US finals championships. We had four teams to the summit for the first time. So we were excited about getting all these teams to the summit and they did, we had four teams and it was our first time to be able to send two of those teams to summit finals, which was absolutely incredible. As you can see, the competition dominance really started to happen throughout the whole program and we just got stronger as those years from 2014 to 2017 went on just getting stronger throughout and that brings us to where we are today 2018 to the present i call our one family one kingdom era uh, the reason why I call it that is because we saw throughout the years, we saw our beginning years and the kingdom years, how we built the gym around the acceptance and discipline and how important that was, especially in the beginning years. And then as we went on to the competition dominance, I felt that when the competition dominance era really happened, we we went a little bit away from what we had in those beginning years. So now we're bringing it all back together, making sure we have a good balance of both creating the one family, one kingdom era. And that started in a 2017, 2018 season when we lost our dear friend, Mike DeLuke. Uh, makes you realize a lot when you lose a good person like that. It was so big, a part of our gym who we miss greatly as everybody knows as we've done so much for him in his remembrance. In the 2017, 2018 season, Great White score a 98-3-3 at the summit, getting third place in an absolutely incredible division. Highest score record for cheer intensity at a 98-3-3, and one of the most impressive uh, third place victories we've had in our program. Lady Boas, Vipers, and Pumas all go on to win U.S. Finals this year, being absolutely incredible. Getting three U.S. Finals championships are amazing bringing us into our 2018-2019 season that we just got off of. Right off of that, we have our move into our 14B Commercial Ave location in Colony, the new location that we are in right now that we absolutely love and are able to continue our grow our program in. We started the CI Sister Program. You know, that was absolutely amazing program where kids were able to support each other and make sure that they the older sisters were able to lead the younger sisters and the younger sisters were able to make those older sisters feel great, which is bringing that family feel into cheer intensity. All teams receive a bid to either U.S. Finals, Worlds, or the Summit, something that, you know, we don't really uh, plan, but we hope happens, and the teams all put the work in this past season, and it was absolutely incredible to see them all reach those goals on getting there. Great Whites break their record again. They break their old record from the summit prior to at Battle of the Capitol this year, getting a 98.37, breaking the record for the highest score. Monkeys win the U.S. Finals, which is absolutely incredible. Watching those little faces with tears running down their cheeks, cheeks and happiness uh, was absolutely amazing, and we were so proud of them. Lions finish six at NCA and Worlds, both the highest places we've ever had at those competitions. And on top of that, we were made finals for the first time at Worlds. Um, K-1 
capping off a 2018-2019 season that was just insane and so memorable. And we attribute a lot of it of reaching back to those beginning years, bringing people uh, into the gym that have been with us for so long to help bring those beginning years back to the gym on top of the competition years to, uh, you know, create something incredible. So I hope this gives you a little bit of information on how amazing these years have been at Cheer Intensity and how we, where we grew and how we grew to this moment um, on where we are today as we're in leveled practices. Remember that like this is going to be such an incredible season that you're about to step into and that these athletes are going to have an amazing experience. We as a coaching staff and as a staff just want to give these kids the most memories we possibly can to bring with them for the rest of their lives and to celebrate our 13th birthday today. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight of what's to come for this season. So check out a couple of these old pictures and uh, you'll get a couple of laughs and some amazing memories. So thanks for tuning in today. Happy birthday. Cheer intensity.